Okay, you are next. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, it's, it's getting close. Today, BYD is going to show you how to apply your pre-emergent for a weed-free lawn in the spring and summer. Stay tuned. If you don't know what a pre-emergent is, guys, a pre-emergent is a granular herbicide or liquid herbicide that's, and we're using prodiamine, just so you know. What it does is you apply it to your soil. We're using granular. When you water it in, it's gonna put a barrier on the top and inside the soil. So when you have weeds that start to germinate, hopefully it will keep them or prevent them from germinating. Thus, a weed-free lawn comes spring. Okay, Yard for next. Look, I'm gonna get right to it. What we forwarded here is the Yard Mastery uh, pre-emergent right here. They also have a formula that has a dot here in it and guys what we have here is the bottled one right here. Now generally this is going to cost you about anywhere from 55 to 60 bucks online. This is when you're balling on a budget 20 bucks and some change guys. 20 bucks and change but you'll need those one or the other to start off and let me show you what else you're going to guys need. make sure you get you a good spreader. Now they're, they, they have Scott's and of course I use Let's Go and whatever brand spreader you got guys, make sure you learn how to calibrate it before you put the stuff in here. All right, make sure you get your lawnmower with a bag on it guys, lawnmower with a bag on it. And let me show you why guys, you're gonna have to do a cleanup cut. This is where people make their mistake when they apply this pre-emergent. Now, if you notice, you see this is scalp low as I can go one inch. That's still at four and a half, five inch Bermuda grass right there guys. When you apply that granular formula or liquid on thick grass like that and water it in, all of it is not getting to the soil. When you cut it low like this, it gets to the soil a whole lot faster, a whole lot quicker, more gets absorbed. So that could be one of the reasons, guys, you're also having these issues where you're saying that, oh, it's not working, this and that, because you didn't mow your yard low. Now, this is Bermuda grass. The fescue grass is going to be a little bit different. It's recommended that three inch height, make sure you water that stuff down into the soil, guys. Make sure that's the key to this. Okay, guys, and you may need a backpack blower or a hand blower. Um, I'm gonna show you why I suggest that you do this before you actually start applying this chemical to your lawn. So check this out, we're gonna go straight to it. You see those right there, guys? Those are called Bermuda grass wash line. That's Bermuda grass where I cut and it rain, 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 and it washes up from the soil and then it piles up in a certain area. So you need to take a blower and break all that up because more than likely the lawnmower won't get it up because it may start to be caked. Get that stuff up there, guys. Blow it, break it up, run over it with your lawnmower, do a cleanup. Guys, I want to go ahead and tell you this, guys. Pre-emergent does not kill weeds. Now, they have the one that's a post and pre-emergent that has that, that thigh up here in it, but generally that's going to knock out baby crab grass. That's not going to really do any other damage. All right, so don't use the that 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 thigh up here formula with the expectations that it's just going to totally prevent any crabgrass from growing guys the key to this is prevention and treating your yard over and over and over and over and over and eventually you will achieve that weed free lawn but the sooner you can get this down the better off you're going to be Okay, you are finax. Look, after you get yourself a cleanup cut, and I just want you to see that I just I just did this side, this side right here. That's a total of roughly about 13,000 square feet right there. Look, when you order the stuff, guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Click on that, and three days later, a nice box will show up on your front porch, and one of these may show up in your mailbox if you order the liquid. But this is the granular right here, guys. Once you get that box, it's gonna come with a, a you see it right there in the corner. You're going to get that right there, guys. And I'll show you how to apply that at the end of this video. So stay to the end real quick. But check this out. You're going to get this right here. Guys are asking about the instructions, uh, spreader settings. They are on the back. All right. We're not going to go all through that because it's here. But if you got a Scott spreader, 
If you put it on three and one fourth, you're gonna get the little bit over 12,000 square feet that this product says it covers. All right, guys, so let's see what this stuff looks like. Up close, let you see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that. You see that right there, guys? That predominantly has like a yellowish color to it, it's granulated. All right, and these, the, the chunks are not predominantly. It's a carrier agent along with some 7% um, potash and the agent dissolves, but the coating is the predominantly right there. All right, so let's get this in the yard now. Okay, guys, so we got these in here. Look at that. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and get this applied to the lawn. Okay, guys, I know I said 11. I'm going 12 on my Let's Go. Like I said, I still should get right at 11,000 square feet coverage with this right here, guys. Read your manual, calibrate your, sw your spreader, guys, to get the exact measurements. Let me answer this question, because somebody will ask me, what happens if I actually go over? Guys, if you put excess prodiamine or pre-emergent on your lawn it's not gonna hurt to the point where it's gonna kill the grass if you go a tad bit over i won't worry about it if you go a tad bit under apply more but if you go way over you could possibly stunt the growth of your grass so just better in mind one of the things i like about these pro spreaders is that you get a cover so if i tip it over it's not gonna land in the grass and burn the grass Guys, always apply your fertilizer, whatever product you're gonna apply to your lawn, over concrete or over a tarp. Just in case you forget to close the bottom, you don't want that spillage to hit the ground. So let's go ahead and apply this. Okay guys, I wanna emphasize this too. You look at my ground, you see I got granulars on there. Guys, make sure you get a blower or a broom or something and blow that stuff back off into the ground. Yeah. Guys, this is the most important step. This is the step that people don't do. This is what causes your grass to get a lot of weeds in it. Guys, you have to water it in. I consistently keep saying this. You can't put it down, walk away and wait for rain water it in asap guys i would not apply this when you know a severe rainstorm is coming if it's just gonna be a little sprinkle sprinkle that's different but always water it in as soon as you put it down that is how you activate the product and it locks into the soil and it starts doing its job so guys hopefully this helped you learn how to apply the yard mastery pro diamine the uh, pre-emergent guys and i got some other stuff coming up guys if you subscribe to the channel, guys, I'm gonna show you a lawn care program that you won't have to keep cutting this Bermuda grass every two to, th two to three days. And you're only gonna cut it once a week. It's gonna grow like you want it to. It's gonna be real green. You're gonna be amazed. <laughs> so, okay, y'all, for next, if you wanna know how to apply that liquid, click on this video right here, guys. And I got several other videos that you need to click on if you're interested in a Yard Mastery brand. I'll be using that the entire season so you get to see what it looks like on my lawn. God, once again, you're tuned to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.